上をもちまして。Now I will explain the techniques. First, we will demonstrate Hanza Hangachi techniques from the Ikajo series. The Hanza Hangachi techniques show the characteristics of Daitoryu most clearly. Daitoryu is called Gotenjutsu or techniques for use inside the castle, mainly because of these techniques. The demonstrators are Mr. Tomabechi Fitdan, who demonstrated Aikinage of Shoden, and others. Hansa Handachi techniques are designed to deal with a large number of enemies. Throwing one opponent who comes from the right against the opponent at the left, or throwing an opponent who comes from the left against the opponent at the right. Also, throwing an opponent who comes from the front against the opponent at the back, or throwing an opponent who comes from the back against the opponent at the front. These are techniques which are applied differently depending on the situation. First, he will control the opponent on his right side who is about to attack with a sword. He controlled the opponent by stopping him from drawing his sword with his right hand and threw him against the opponent on his left. <laughs> Next, he throws an opponent on his left to the right. This time, he throws an opponent who comes from the front against the opponent to the rear. He now throws an opponent who comes from the rear against the opponent at the front. Finally, he pins an opponent who comes from the front right where he was sitting. This is the reason why these techniques are called Gokyo or 5D. He has applied techniques against one person at a time just now. However, in a real situation, opponents attack from random directions, from the right or left, so that one has to be flexible enough to adapt himself to the circumstances. Next, I will demonstrate and explain techniques. Before starting my demonstration, I would like to refer to the five main elements in martial arts training. They are the fundamentals of the martial arts. Mitsuke, or where to look or concentrate one's mind. Kokyu, or breathing. Mawai, or distance. Kuzushi, or breaking the momentum or balance of the opponent's movement. And Zanshin, or staying attentive at the end of a technique. From beginners to advanced students of Dai Toryu, we all keep these fundamentals in mind in our daily training. I would like to explain in detail about these five elements but we don't have enough time today for that. We have only about 10 minutes. I will explain them some other time. Today, I will only try to touch upon them briefly. First, Mitsuke. Mitsuke can mean penetration, perception, and eventually the height of pre-perception which we strive to attain. 
Therefore, we include this term as a subject of our study. The concept of metsuke naturally includes insight. The concept of insight ranges from controlling the opponent with piercing eyes to the state of embracing the opponent with benevolence. Next, kokyu. Kokyu should include breathing method and power of breathing. The Chinese characters for kokyu are exhaling and inhaling. Naturally, exhaling is more important, whereas inhaling can be forgotten. Forgetting may not be a proper word, but I want to stress that exhaling is important. I think you know very well that one can even cure illnesses by executing certain methods of breathing. In ancient times, a breathing method of Buddha existed. In the mid-Edo period of Japan, there was a Zen priest named Hakuin Zenshi who devised a breathing method. Today, there are many people doing research on breathing methods. We ourselves have been studying the subject based on all the research of the past and the present. Today, for the time being, we define the word kokyu this way. Exhaling is yang and inhaling is ying. That is to say, when we put strength in our body, we naturally exhale and hold. Exhale and hold, that is, the breathing of ah and hum, or inspiration and expiration. Today, we will just characterize the essential point of kokyu as exhaling and inhaling. Next, moai. When we demonstrate jujitsu techniques, we manipulate and throw opponents to attack with a sword quite easily. There is a certain fixed distance at which we feel at ease executing a technique. This is about six feet, or perhaps a little longer. However, the mawai that we jujitsu people feel is right is also the perfect mawai for people who do sword work. They say that they can thrust, cut, or do anything from that distance. Therefore, when we think we are in our mawai, they also think that they are in their mawai. That is another point about which we have to be reminded when we train. I will skip Kazushi. Next I will talk about Zanshin. As the Chinese characters for Zanshin indicate, it means the body remains or the mind remains. We also keep this in mind when we train. Next, Kazushi. We have to first think about the term Aiki. The name of our school has the word Aiki in front of the word Jujitsu. Then what is Aiki? We divide Aiki into three levels. Aiki at the Shoden level, Shuden level, and Okuden levels. As I have said, Aiki at the Shoden level involves more than one technique. Then what is Aiki at this level? It is breaking the momentum of the opponent's movement, or kuzushi, by attacking him at an unguarded moment. The Chinese character for this term, kyo, is the same one as in kyozo, or virtual image. In other words, when the opponent touches me, he has already lost his balance, or the momentum of his movement, no matter what condition I am in. That, I think, is Aiki at the Shodan level. I will elaborate on that point in an actual demonstration later. Now, what is Aiki at the Chuden level? It is a secret power or strength that wells up in one's body as a result of training. The Chinese character used for He is the same one as in Himitsu or secret. Lastly, what is Aiki in Okuden? It is a secret power that flows out from one's mind by training one's spirit. Here is an example. If we are to climb Mount Fuji, there can be many different paths to climb the mountain. One is flower arrangement, or it could be tea ceremony, and our ways happen to be the martial arts. People who train in flower arrangement seek the way to the summit through flowers. People who train in tea ceremony seek the way to the summit through tea, and we seek the way to the summit through technique. The summit, or the goal that we are aiming at, is one particular thing. That, I think, is enlightenment. Therefore, I believe that Aiki...